Hey, uh, do you mind if I record you for a second? What? Uh, do you mind if I say hi to you on a recording? Hi. <laughs> this is for my friend Jess. Um, yeah. I was just going to show her the place. Oh, so. okay. Uh, this is my father. Oh, hi. <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> just wondering, what's that, a telephone? Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, hi. But I, I record the audio with this, though. This sounds much better. Sounds good. Yeah, cool. so, <laughs> thank you. This is uh, this is Chico. I don't know how well you can see Chico, but uh, let's head outside here. It's uh, my ma's painting. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'll show you the art some other time. But the A lot of family art here. Um, since my family is artists, uh, this, for instance, my father is a construction worker, which I guess is a kind of an art. It definitely is. This porch uh, was built by him. The word wood carved and whatnot. So that's quite nice. Um, that's a bloody um, gorgeous place, Jess. Uh, you said that you're jealous of being by a lake. So I'll show it to you. And everyone's watching this, of course. There's some vegetation and some banana plants. We keep a lot of nice banana plants. It's like quite a nice bush there. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm staying here temporarily with my parents. I just moved in today, actually. I feel slightly like an adult child, but it helps me for financial reasons. At the very moment, I'm not terribly keen on uh, on um, spending 80% of what I make for rent. That doesn't really get me anywhere at the end of the day. Or the end of the lease, as it were. And this place, this place I have a lot of negative bias uh, towards, against, because I grew up here. The place is gorgeous, but... Uh, it is Monomidae. It is the the holy city of Monomidae. If you were to measure holiness by completeness of a straight population, if that were your measuring stick, well then this place, this place is sacred fucking uh, land is what this place is. So, uh, it's my first day. This is the lake I was talking about. Um, kind of have to walk down to it. This is, uh, the public beach. I hear people in my microphone, but I don't see them. I don't know where they're coming from. So, maybe we'll run into people. Ah, they're down there. So, yeah, there it is. That's quite nice, and I'm gonna come here tonight when the, the stars are out, and the sun is set. And there's no wind here, so the lake, oh, the lake will be like a golden mirror reflecting everything. This is, uh, what we used to sled down when we were kids. This, uh, this hill right here, we used to call it the Death Hill. And, uh, <laughs> um, funny story, I guess I'll, I'll tell everyone while I'm heading back here. Um, when I was a child... Everyone was sledding down the death hill, uh, everyone but me. I didn't have a sled, so I got quite bored of that right away. You can only watch other kids sled down a hill for so long before you, well, you don't want to look anymore. That's ah, quite a nice car, isn't it? And, uh, so, it was winter, I decided to go out into the lake and, uh, dig. Oh, let's see how deep the snow is here on the frozen lake. So I found a spot and I dug. I kept them digging, and eventually I dug up a sled. I was <laughs> directly uh, above a sled on this lake. Oh, hold on, my microphone's getting loose. All right, hopefully it'll be better than four minutes, 45 seconds. And uh, yeah, so I was, I was quite satisfied. Uh, it certainly is a pretty uh, boisterous display of American flags here. I don't know if you can see any in the frame, but they're definitely around. 
uh, there, for instance. Uh, it's because it's the 4th of July, and you know what better place to celebrate the 4th of July here in Monomedi City, where the uh, town, where the free market gives you a high five, and God himself looks down at you um, with a, a glitter of envy in his blue eyes for just how perfect your lawn is and how awesome your uh, half a million dollar home is. Now, I guess there's our uh, half a million dollar home. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm a bit biased when I, uh, when I uh, wax anti-capitalist. I'm a bit hypocritical in that sense, albeit we did buy this home at uh, $60,000 and half of it is built from us pretty much. Um, I mean, I could, I don't think I could show you where the original part is, but everything in the frame here is, is entirely new. And uh, so we, we've spent a great, great deal of time that my uh, father is reaping the benefits of new uni 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 of unionized um, construction work for uh, 30 years or so. And uh, he's reaping the, the retirement benefits of that. So that isn't too capitalist then, is it? <laughs> so maybe I'm not that hypocritical, but uh, I, uh, my childhood uh, wasn't poor. Albeit, uh, it was uh, de de um, it was depraved, I guess, of of other queer people, which which I that I think that was my <laughs> my entrance into realizing that uh, things aren't just just because they are, but uh, but uh, that. Uh, yeah, I guess things aren't just just because they are. Anyway, seven minutes. I'm gonna close shutter now. Thanks for watching, Jess. I want to tell you um, really quickly, and I know everyone else is listening, but uh, I want to tell you that uh, you know I'm I'm glad I'm your friend. I'm glad that that you have friendship for me, and I have plenty of friendship for you. And uh, I'm I'm glad that we've become as close as we are. Because you're fairly important to me. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So, Jess, you're fucking awesome. <laughs> you make the world. And, uh, more specifically, you make one person in the world uh, a lot happier. But you also make the rest of the world a lot happier as well. So thank you, Jess. You're an awesome person. And uh, take care, everyone. There's some more plants. There was a bicycle. And uh, take care.